Ooh. That was a leap of faith. Hey guys, welcome to Geek Devotions, show from a couple of devoted geeks, devoted to let you know that you love. My name is Dallas Moore, and I'm so glad you decided to hit the play button. Do me a favor, if you like what's going on, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to be updated every time we upload a video, which is normally on Fridays about 4 o'clock, sometimes a special Tuesday video, hit the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button, and you'll be notified immediately as soon as we upload a video. It's a pretty cool system. Finally, if you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button, and uh, it'd be nice. And while you're at it, leave some comments down below and let us know what's happening in your life. Before we get into the episode, I want to let you guys know about two things. First off, I want to remind you that we're going to have Takun with us next week. She's an awesome young lady. She's from Minnesota, and she's really, really cool. And she is doing her own anime right now. Like, she's working on making a faith-based, Christian-based anime, and I'm super excited about it. There will be a link in the description down below, probably a card up here or here, somewhere around here. And, uh, yeah, check her out when you go there. Tell her that we sent you. And uh, become her senpai, as she says. And she does this little number right here. It's kind of because she's she's cute. And I just look awkward doing this. I'm, I'm watching myself in the lens. It's like, senpai. Uh, it doesn't work for me. I'm so sorry. I also want to say a special thank you to a couple of my students from my church who got me some really cool gifts. Uh, one of them got me an Ultra Ball. And uh, he, he played with it and took it home. So that's cool. Also, how do you know a young man who gave me this cool thing right here? That's right. This is a legit Batarang. I mean, it's... It's kind of sharp and bulky, and I could I could throw it, but I'm, I'm I'm not going to because I'm a responsible adult, and and I want to play with this so badly. I've gotten several other gifts already from uh, people at my church, and I want to let you guys know those of you watch this. Thank you so much for blessing me and Celeste, and you guys really mean a lot to us. So yeah, thank y'all so much. So yesterday, Assassin's Creed the movie came out. At the time of me recording this, it's before it came out, so I don't know if it's any good. I really hope it does well because. Video game movies have a bad, have, it's a bad time. If you're unfamiliar with the game, the basic premise of it is simply this. A secret organization has taken a guy and they've hacked into his genetics to hack into the memories of his ancestors. And they're trying to use virtual reality to discover something secretive. And it's really pretty cool. I played a good portion of the very first game and I really enjoyed it. I just have a really slow PC. One of the major things about this game that everyone just thinks about, like if you ask a person who plays the game, one of the first things that comes to their mind is the leap of faith. Leap of faith is what something that takes place in the game where your character climbs to like the highest point in a city or an area and uh, they look out to kind of survey the land, see what's going on, and then they literally jump. I mean, they just, I mean, they're probably they're, they're on top of a cathedral and they're jumping into the air. They're just jumping out and they're flying, fl flying fast towards towards the ground, towards doom. And they land in Palo Hay and they're okay. They take a leap of faith and hope that they're going to be okay. I'm not going to get into the science of this because other people have done it and they've done it well and they've proven the fact that this is a bad idea. Do not do that. Do not take a leap of faith in this fashion because you will die. In the show notes below, I'll put a link to a really cool video that explains the mechanics of the quote-unquote leap of faith. That being said, it got me thinking on something very interesting. A leap of faith in our faith with Christ. See, over and over again, we're asked to take a leap of faith in trusting God. And this is a scary, scary thing for people because God has called them to do so many great things, but they don't know what to do with it. They're not sure they can. And it's, it's very daunting to go out and do some of the things that God's called them to do. The discussion of faith and actions has been a continuous discussion in the Christian world for a long time. Does your actions dictate your faith or does your faith dictate your actions? This is kind of a bit of a circle, circular discussion. However, James says it pretty clearly in James chapter 2. Verses 14 through 20 says this, What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith, but does not have works. Can such a faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and lacks daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but you do not give them what the body needs, what good is that? So also faith, if it does not have works, is dead by itself. 
But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without works and I will show you faith by my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. The demons also believe and shudder. But do you want to know, you empty person, that faith without works is dead? Scripture also says that we are saved by grace through faith that no man can boast. Meaning simply this, that you can only be saved by the grace of God. You can only God's favor is on us by His grace. You can't earn it. There's nothing you can do. It's a gift given to us by Him. That said, it's through faith. And when you look at that with comparison to the passage we just read in James, we see that there is action that has to take place. You have to walk out your faith in God. You have to actually do something, put feet to the ground, literally jump off that building. If your faith is causing you to stand still and do nothing, is it really faith? In the game, you could probably just climb down. There is a way for you to climb down off the chapels, off the steeples, off of these high cathedrals. However, it takes a long time and you'll probably cause a lot of commotion, it won't be as good as it could be, and you might get yourself killed. However, if you take the leap of faith, you get down quickly into the ground, you hide out in a nice little haystack, and you move forward to accomplish the mission you have. I'm not telling you that not taking risks will cause you to like go to hell or anything, but what I am telling you is that if you don't walk out in your faith, if you don't put action to the faith that you claim to have, it's going to be a hard road ahead of you. It's going to take longer to accomplish the things that God has called you to do. And I'm sorry, God's not above going. All right, you won't do it. Let me go to the next person who will serve me faithfully. If you're standing on the fence right now, so whether or not you're even going to put your faith in Jesus Christ, I want to encourage you, take that leap of faith today. I know it's scary in today's climate, in today's world, where it seems like people who really claim to follow Jesus Christ are either getting persecuted or they're just really weird and they're persecuting other people. I understand the confusion that's out there about what it means to follow Jesus, but I promise you, take the leap of faith, follow Jesus Christ, and I promise you, you won't regret it. Jesus loves you and he cares about you. That's the reason why Celeste and I took the leap of faith to start Geek Devotions, because he loves you. And we believe that he's using this format to reach you, to let you know that. I don't know where you're at today. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if God's asking you to start your own ministry. I don't know if he's asking you to simply sit in a lunchroom with your friends at work or at school and just express with them what God is doing in your life or what he means to you. I don't know if maybe you're looking for salvation and you, you need prayer about that. But I want to promise you, take the leap of faith and let him help you jump and soar through the air and fall into his arms and let him carry you. Let him take care of you because he loves you. Do us a favor, guys. Leave some comments down below if you need prayer for anything at all. Celeste and I have faith and believe that Jesus can touch you wherever you're at with whatever situation you're going through right now. If you need salvation, do me a favor. Hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Send a direct message at Geek Devotions and and we'll communicate with you. We'll walk you through salvation. We'll walk you through what it means to, to be in a daily walk with God and, and Bible study and all those other things. And now don't get it twisted, guys. We're not your pastors. Uh, I am a pastor by profession, but we're not your pastors. Find a church that's local that you can get into that believes in the Word of God, that believes in the authority of scriptures, and believes that God moves today and wants to do a work in your life. And get plugged in, guys. Get plugged into a small group, a disciples group, whatever they call it. Get plugged into God and into the body of Christ. You'll see your faith begin to grow by leaps and bounds when you find yourself in a great fellowship of believers who also walk in faith. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Geek Devotions. So don't forget next week, our friend Takun yes. is going to be on our show, sharing a little bit. She's pretty cool. She's doing an anime. I don't know if you've heard us mention this. I'm super excited about the anime. She's super excited about the anime. And it's adorable like she is. Yes, it is. Make sure you guys... We're going to have links in the description below to her channel and yes. probably in the icons up here. And uh, go subscribe, be a senpai, that's what she says. 
and uh, yeah, and let her know that we sent you there. And again, next week she's going to be doing our show, so check that out. All right, so question of <gasps> the week. What is the question of the week? Because Christmas is coming up. I'm going to ask you guys at to think. This, at this point, there will only be two more sleeps. Two more sleeps. Two more sleeps till Christmas. Two more sleeps. That's right. Unless you're on the other side of the globe, then it's one more One more sleep. sleep. So, but here's the question of the week. I want to have you guys dig deep into your past, into your childhood. Think back, think hard. What was your favorite, or what is your favorite geeky Christmas gift? Favorite Christmas geeky gift. So, Celeste, what was your favorite Christmas geeky gift? Ooh, that's, that's kind of hard. Um, I've gotten quite a few geeky gifts mm -hmm. that, that, that I quite love. Yes. So this, this little Wonder Woman would be one of them. I actually got this this year and she's adorable. I have apparently started collecting Wonder Woman figurines because <laughs> Wonder Woman's awesome. She is. Um, I think though that I'm going to have to go with, there was one year where my mom bought me books like nothing but books. I had books for days. Oh, wow. It was amazing. So Sweet. Only that, days though. That's well, it. They only last for a couple of days for her. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so many books. So it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's cool. For me, it was it was this cool thing. Oh yeah. Um, I got a lot of cool things, but uh, this was one of my favorites. This is a jacket. It's a really nice, comfortable jacket that my sister got me. Uh, she she went out and bought this really expensive jacket, and then she monogrammed this symbol right here. And if for you otaku's out there, you know what this symbol is. You know what this is. This is the Tekkenin, right? And and I love it a lot. And for those of you who don't know, it's it's a symbol from an anime called Iron Blooded Orphans. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Not for kids, but it's really really cool series. And we I'm, also might have done a a devotion on it that you should check out as well. Yes, you should because it's really nifty. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, share our videos, leave comments down below, and most importantly, most very, very, very importantly, please, 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 have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>